Hey guys, so this video is going to be about basically the spiritual awakening that has happened um, amongst a lot of people around the world um, and all about our, our calling and why this has happened and so on and so forth. It's probably going to be um, a two or three video thing because, you know, it's a lot, there's a lot to cover and talk about, but um, let's get into it. So for those who do not know me and are coming to this video because, you know, you've been guided to this video, I am Stacia Jeanette and um, I have all five spiritual gifts and I kind of went through the reconnecting of my, you know, my true self, my higher self, uh, spiritual awakenings process along with the rest of you guys towards the beginning of last year um, and it was rough because I kind of got hit with every everything um, at once and so um, but this is something that's happened worldwide and not many people have talked about it because it's kind of one of those like weird off you know off the grid type subjects that people don't want to you know be called crazy for like oh they believe in it's 2018 guys it's time to stop putting you know, our, our, what we're going to talk about or how we present ourselves in the thoughts of what others might think, um, you know, when we are our true self. So here we go. So I have, um, Claire Cognience, which is basically ideas and thoughts, you know, come to me and that are answers from my, um, angels and spirit guides, God and universe. Um, I have clairaudience and clairvoyance, um, and clairsentience and my biggest ones, I mean, I, I guess all of them are pretty much about the same now, but, but it used to just be where I could feel, you know, whether like yes or no, wrong or right, not good, you know, all, all that. And then I would get prophetic dreams. So, and I still get those. Um, so these are just a little bit of, you know, what I have going on and abilities that I have. And I want others to be, a, you know, open about what they have going on as well. So we can all come together and get this, you know, vision and idea that we've all been given, you know, last year. Because I know it hit. I know it hit a, like a whole bunch of people at the same time. And ain't nobody said anything about it for previously mentioned reasons. But talking to you guys um you know now's the time to basically own up to <laughs> what you you know what you really are um the gifts that you 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 have um so we can get this this mission going so let's dive into that and um i think we've all seen um the same type of vision or idea which is these self-sustaining communities, um, clean energy, and getting clean, clean water for everyone. So I don't, I'm not sure if everyone's was clean water as well, but that one was, was mine, a big one, because for those of you who don't know, um, you know, Flint, Michigan still has the same lead piping as before. And, um, you know, we have our own states around the U.S. that don't even have clean, suitable drinking water. Um, and there's no, like, missions that go around and, you know, parade, march around for, for those things to be taken care of. But we've got, you know, countless mission areas, you know, for, um, you know, trips abroad and things like that. And it's kind of baffling to me. So I think that's where we come in as far as getting up. Oh, sorry, my dogs are acting all kinds of crazy. Um, but I think that's where we come in um, collectively to basically make this whole clean energy, you know, why are we not using clean energy? First of all, uh, get wind power, hydraulic power, um, solar power going on and then use that type of clean energy to make these self-sustaining communities, you know, that run off of only clean energy. And um, another thing that I want to do personally was to like get less people in jail. So basically when you just have, 
misdemeanors or whatever like or you should you could really be able to just do house arrest or you know parole or probation um i want you know those people to be able to, to be out you know helping in their communities here um because we have to start um for me i, I live in the u.s and america to me is the problem for a lot of things um because we tend to take, 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 and want, 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 want from other countries. And, you know, and, and then when other countries aren't agreeing on our terms or there's some sort of issue going on, instead of the issue being resolved between, you know, the U.S. and what other countries' leaders, they're just like, you know, U.S. is just like, well, let's just start a war, you know, and it, <laughs> you know, so, um, but we're, we're so quick to want to go and help other countries and help other places and talk about other countries, but we don't even have our shit together. Really, we don't. Um, so we need to heal here in America first and the rest of the world will heal as a ripple effect, a domino effect from us healing, from us purging, you know, people who don't need to be, you know, in power anymore for us, you know, getting rid of, you know, the evil and the corruption and, you know, the hate um, from us, you know, coming together, from us, you know, cleaning up our oceans, cleaning up our states, our communities, our, our um, you know, our jails, our, our world, you know, our, our poor little earth is just barely hanging on. Um, you know, Antarctica's got a giant crack through it for like the first time and since the Ice Age and you know, it's just, it's because we haven't been, we haven't been good, you know, to the earth. We haven't been good to ourselves as humans, you know. So um, I think our collective mission, you know, is to start coming together and making these changes happen. And um, I want to, you know, s start that. And obviously, I'm going to need you know, volunteer help. I'm going to need, you know, sponsors, you know, who can do that. I'm going to need, you know, lawyers because, you know, there's going to be some BS. There, I need, you know, therapists. I need light workers, spiritual healers. I need counselors. I need uh, c contractors, construction workers, um, scientists, people who work with the clean energy. I don't know what your professional title would be, but just, you know, I, I, I need that. I need for people in those categories to, you know, want to be on board with getting this started. Um, so we can, so we can change the world guys and comment down below. Let me know if you guys have seen something similar to this and if you guys are on board and ready to do it, if you guys have connections, um, I just have the foundation, the idea, the plot. Um, I'm just supposed to be the person that gets this whole thing started. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do. I have the correct, you know, I have everything. My angels and guides have given me all the fountain, you know, the fundamental instructions and I have them, <sighs> you know, but I need for you guys to, you know, take it and do what you do with them so we can so we can change the world and save the world and heal the world um, because we need it. So comment down below, let me know if you're on board, let me know what you do, what you, you know, how you can contribute and help. Um, I'll drop my email so you guys can email me. I'm on Instagram, Stacia Jeanette. And let's just do this guys, we got this. Love and light to everybody.